Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. If you've been watching our videos, go ahead and like and subscribe below. It really helps us out and gives us a little bit of extra income on the side uh, so we can keep on making these videos. So today I am going to teach you all how to create an inline image that flows with your text and how to automate the settings to bring those images in quickly and efficiently. So to get started, here is my little document. Um, just has some real basic styles on it. Also, what I have done is gone in and created a style for my image. Now, this isn't an object style. This is actually a paragraph style. So let's open up the paragraph styles tab. And this is the style I have made. It's called inline image. And the only thing I have done in this uh, style is to create a alignment of center. That's really all you need. So with the style selected, I am now going to go up to File, Place, and we are going to go ahead and place this image. Now, if everything disappears, don't worry about it. All that's happened is that image has run out of space and it has gone somewhere to find somewhere to land. See, it has gone to this spread because it has more uh, space on the edge to place itself. So I'm going to, before I click anything, use the resize tool at the top up here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on 50% to drop that down. There, now it's reappeared. And I'm going to manually draw the size of this frame down to my margins. Um, so I can drag this image around a little bit. It can't leave the frame, but I can drag it up and down. I do not want this to happen. I don't want this text to be able to draw itself on top of my photograph. So I'm going to apply a text wrap of jump objects to prevent that from happening. Now I can still draw it up and down a little bit. Uh, however, the text must stay away from it. The other thing I'm going to do is um, I want to be able to make this object reflowable. However, I do not want it to ever go outside my frame. Right now it is going outside my margin and outside my text frame. So how do we prevent this from happening? With my object selected, I'm going to go up to Object, Anchored Object, and then Options. Now, I am going to change the image from inline to above line. And I'm going to change this to text alignment. And here's the main thing is we don't want negative or positive numbers in here. All we want is zero. No space before, no space after. We want it to stay only at the base, base level. Now I click OK. And because that object encountered the edge of the frame, now it's going to drop itself to the next page. Um, so I don't want to have to do that every time I insert an object into this document. So we need to find a way to create a default of sorts for every anchored object. The text wrap one is easy. With nothing selected, I'm going to go to my text wrap uh, panel here, and I'm going to select jump object. Now this is the default. Every anchored object that is brought in will retain the text wrap of jump object. Second, we are going to change our anchored object settings. The defaults will change so long as you have nothing selected. You can go to object, anchored object, and go to the default options. Now, what we want is the above line text alignment. We want zero and zero. And just for good measure, I'm also going to make sure that this inline one is zero, even though I'm not using it necessarily. I'm going to click OK. And now the next time I go to insert an object into the document, all of those settings should be brought in automatically. I'm going to apply the inline image style to this line and let's place a new image. Let's say this one. I'm going to size that down using this option, and I'm going to draw it down to the size of my margins. There we go. So let's say I delete some text here, 
as soon as the image has enough room, it will come back into the prior frame. This is so useful for images that have lots of books, and especially for images that are going to be eventually converted into ebooks. Ebooks love this style of image because the image is contained in the flow of text. Um, it comes along just as it should. Always works super well. The other thing we can edit with our inline image paragraph style is the space before and after. If you think that this is too much space or too little space, simply go up to your paragraph style options and then go to the end ends of spacing tab and you can increase or decrease the space before and after like so. And you can make sure that your file is consistent in the way that the paragraph styles are set with your images. All right, other than that, guys, that's about all I have for you. Thank you very much. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe and leave a comment below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.